We've heard that a dog is man's best friend, and Sam here is a good friend. But who might be a homeless dog's best friend? Possibly the woman our Steve Hartman went to meet. There you go. Look here. Teresa Berg of Dallas, Texas, is a professional pet photographer Hi, with a major league pet peeve. Good girl. It could be so much more appealing. Her issue, bad dog adoption photos. That's not the ideal pose, I take it? I would think not. Shelters and rescues post these pictures to try and entice people to adopt. Would you invite him into your home? But Teresa says the effect is often just the opposite, that thousands of dogs are euthanized every year for no other reason than bad marketing. I can't stand the thought of, you know, for want of a good picture, that a dog goes homeless. That's why, a few years ago, Hi, Liberty. Teresa started working for homeless Hi, dogs, pro bono, if you will, volunteering to take their adoption photos. Can we start? She worked huh? almost exclusively with a dachshund rescue group run by Kathleen Coleman. We were getting adoptions, but it was just slow going. So, Teresa retook all the pictures of all the dogs Kathleen had posted online, brought them in focus and put them in pearls, got them out of jail and onto the couch, and replaced the Nick Dolte mug shots with dog fancy cover shots. After the retakes, every one of these dogs got adopted in record time, and today, adoptions at the rescue are up 100%. Pictures make a difference. That dog looks like it could be my friend. Mm. This was Liberty's picture. The day after it was posted, three people called to adopt her. How are you? Nice Welcome. To you. Teresa is now determined to multiply her results by training volunteers from other rescues and shelters and by persuading other professional photographers to lend their cameras to the cause. If every photographer just took in one rescue group, we could save so many more dogs. We really could. She's talking tens of thousands of lives. Hi. Picture that. 